What up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing a new fan shroud and a new fan to my 3D printer. So let's get into it. So the main reason that you might want to put a new fan or a fan shroud on your 3D printer is if your quality for like PLA prints and that kind of thing isn't that good because for PLA you need to cool it very rapidly to be able to get a really good quality out of it. It's also useful for sort of having a slight amount of fan and that kind of thing when you're using ABS and other materials and stuff like that. But uh, in general it's just better to have a bigger fan so you've got more options really. So we're going to start off, we're going to show some footage of the actual thing printed itself and then we'll get into the assembly. So the mod we're actually printing is the die cooler by Paw 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 85 on Thingiverse, which is the best name ever by the way. Um, I'm printing this in ABS and I talk a bit more about that at the end as to why I do that, but just for now, just make sure you print something in like ABS or PETG. So the first step is to turn your printer around and on the back of the printhead there's this little plate that protects all the uh, plugs where the electronics go onto the little board. Just take the two screws off of that and take that off. Once that's removed you can get to all the little plugs at the back of the printer and you want to take this plug out here, the one I'm pointing at, it's the little black plug closest to the linear rail. Once you've done this you want to dismantle your extruder mechanism. I've done a more detailed guide on how to do this in my all metal hot end video so go and check that out above in the cards. Now you just want to feed the fan cable through the linear rail from where it was plugged into the little board. This is so you can remove the fan completely from the printer. Now just remove the two screws that's holding the fan in place. Now you want to attach the radial fan to the 3D printed part using the M4x20 bolt and nut. I actually used a nylock nut here but it's completely optional, it holds on fine without. Now this is very important, if you use the same radial fan as me from the link in the Thingiverse description for the model itself, then the wires are actually back to front. So what we need to do before we can use it is actually switch the wires around. To do this you need to just face the connector at you so you can see the two little metal contacts. Then you want to get a really really tiny screwdriver or a Stanley blade could work also for this but be very careful it's sharp and then just poke it down in the gap and there's a little clip you want to push down once you've pressed it in and pushed it down remove the screwdriver and then you should be able to pull the wire straight out of the connector as you see here I got had a little bit of a trouble getting it out but uh, as long as you're gentle and you're careful you'll succeed Now you've got the pins out of the connector, you can see there's a tiny little clip on the back that holds them in. So what you want to do to make sure they hold back in the connector when you put them back in the right way is just to get your fingernail or a tiny little screwdriver to bend the little clips back up. Be very gentle here because you don't want to snap them off and then that way when you put them back in they'll hold nice and tightly. Now you want to poke the pins back in place with that little clip that we just bent up facing the holes on the front of the connector. Obviously you want to reverse the order of the cable so that when you plug it back into the printer it's in the right place. Make sure when you have the contacts facing towards you that you've got the red cable in the left side and the black cable in the right side as you'll burn out your fan. Now you want to grab the shroud that you just assembled and attach it to the original fan mounting plate. 
you want to use the M3 by 10 or 12 millimeter bolts, depending on which ones you got, to attach the 3D printed part using just regular nuts. I tried Nylox originally, but I couldn't get enough pressure on them to be able to tighten them up properly, but regular nuts work fine. Apologies for my hands being in the way a little bit here, but you just want to tuck the cable down the back of the heater block and out the way so it doesn't get caught on anything. Then run it back through the linear rails in the same way the original fan cable did so you can plug it back in. Then finally reassemble the extruder assembly in the same way you took it apart. Again, see the other video from before and then you can then plug everything in at the back. And finally, using the two screws, just reattach the plate that covers up the little control board at the back. Incidentally, while I was doing this mod, I actually swapped out the hot end cooling fan for the original part cooling fan, being as it was starting to make a noise and stuff. Um, that is just the little plug that was in front of that black plug. So if you want to do that yourself, then that's the one you need. Also, this fan is wired up the right way around, so there's no need to switch any cables. But well, there you have it, it's not actually that difficult to fit one of these and it makes no end of difference. I'll put a video somewhere on the screen of it printing a cooling tower and it's the same cooling tower that I printed back in the Z-Brace mod which looked a bit, it was, although very straight, was a bit naff. So um, it's the exact same G-code, the exact same file essentially and I just ran it again through this printer. You, the only addition being the new cooling fan and you can see it's night and day the differences between them. One thing to note with this is you'll probably want to print this in ABS or PETG, something with a high temperature resistance, because that fan shroud is going to be right next to a heated bed as well as a heated nozzle for an extended period of time. So if you're using PLA, it, it might be okay, but you, it's likely that it will deform and then ruin a print or something. So you definitely want to avoid that. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, like, comment and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I shall see you next time. Ta-da!